with uh, Scotty Bowman, the uh, former coach. I- I'm trying to get to, you know, you've got Vegas with a new coach, Winnipeg, Dallas, um, Boston, all very good teams at or near the top in the NHL, and they all have new coaches. And I'm wondering if there's any commonality to the approach that these guys take. That's what I'm trying to get from you. Do you think there is? They're all they're all ultra experienced. Yeah. And there's one there's one sitting in the wings with a lot of experience too. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Barry Trotz, but no, yeah. I, I think it's because um, you know, they're not they're not uh, they're not on the bubble in their own mind. They've 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 all got six, seven, or eight hundred wins. It's not like they, they're learning how to coach again, but they probably are challenged with a new group of players. I think that probably the biggest example is in uh, Winnipeg, but you know, it seems that Rick Bonus is able to put in a defensive structure on a team. And I, I said, well, Winnipeg, you know, they were, they were, they were not that bad a couple of years ago, but now all of a sudden they do score goals too. So I, I would say that uh, they bring a certain system and they believe in it. But that's okay. But you must sell it to your team. And maybe he was very fortunate. Uh, Winnipeg was not not where they wanted to be. The players haven't changed a lot. They've added a few, but not not a lot. I mean, they've added three or four, and the veterans still have to do the job. And they have improved their defense, and they have a very good goaltender. Is in to me, he's in the top uh, two or three in the league. You beat me to it, Scotty, because Connor Hellebuck. Has might be the best goalie in the game right now. He's been that good. And well, the, the, the challenge becomes now is how many games can he play? Yeah, he's playing a lot. Uh, I don't know if he's getting to work every night uh, in the travel. You'd have to check the team's travel. So, I, I, I mean, I was talking to somebody the other, the other day about Detroit, and they they're off to a good first quarter. They they've only had one back to back. Which is that's been a big asset for them, not yeah. to have to worry about playing back to back, because you're going to have to play back to back. I don't know all the schedules of the teams, but you know, uh, the teams. I I go to the games in I go to the games in 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 Tampa, and you know when you think about it, the the the, the, the Lightning or or the Panthers, they get they get teams they get teams back to back a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, they don't seem to be. It hasn't bothered them as much, but I, I agree with you on Winnipeg is uh, Hellebuck. I mean, you know, John, those points have been so meaningful in the first uh, 20 plus games now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're they not, I don't know what their schedule's been, but uh, I don't even know. I, didn't, I don't know how many games the backup has played, but I mean, they're looking at how many games has he played? I don't I know. I think he's played five. Yeah. I think he's played well, he's five. On, Probably on target for maybe twenty, but yeah. when you you're right when they I don't have a number on the goalies so though because I don't I don't think uh, you know uh, these goalies it, it depends how much work are they getting are they are they completely uh, holding the teams in all the time and mm-hmm. that would be important the the Tampa goalie they they play Elliot. Uh, now on on the, those goalies play usually on the back to back situation. Although they play them sometimes in the first game now, and uh, but Vas- Vasilevsky can play a lot. He's yeah. twenty eight years old, and I don't know Halibut's probably <laughs> what thirty maybe. I don't. Know. He's about the same age, I think. Actually, yeah. but Bob would actually. By the way, Bob would like his goalie to play eighty two. I was just going to bring that up. I you know. know. We. Well, I can't... was thinking. I was thinking seventy, but we're close. Well, Bob wants he doesn't he doesn't even understand why you carry a backup. I don't know why. Let the guy who runs the Zamboni be the backup. Well, in well, case somebody gets hurt. Well, well, Bob, it's like me. Why can these pitchers only pitch a hundred pitches? But I know no, I'm bad. with you, Scotty. Oh, oh my but, God, I can't you know, believe I, we're going down this track. Well, no, no, but page, I, I, I know I know a couple of people with different teams and. They told me straight off the the players in the minor leagues they're not there's nobody going to mi- move past that hundred plus pitches because they're that's the way they train them in the minors. Oh, they I know that. They, that's the so. But uh, but if you were coach, if you're coaching today, you'd let your number one goalie, assuming he's as good as a guy like a Hellebuck is, or others, you'd let him play 70, 75 games. <laughs> that would be a lot, but. 
I have a hard time taking out a player that's really playing well. And that might answer your question because, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know, I know Bob, the, 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 the story I can tell you when we, when we were going for the fourth cup in Montreal and we, we had our hands full in the, in the conference finals with Boston. Right. And if you look at the, what we did with Boston, the first time we played, we played them three years in a row. The first time we beat them four straight uh, in 77. The next series was uh, was the final again. It was six games, a couple in right. overtime. Right. And then the third time was the conference final uh, when we when we got behind in, the, in that seventh game in Montreal and we ended up you know, winning in, in overtime. But we lost Gila Point. Part, we, we weren't playing a lot of defensemen like they do today. We were playing about four or five. And Gila Point got hurt in the in the uh, middle part of the of the third period, and then uh, we tied it up at the last couple of minutes, and then uh, go in the dressing room uh, between the third and the overtime, and uh, now we're going for if we don't win that series that series we're not going to get four in a row. So Claude Drewell was my assistant. He was a wonderful man, and mm -hmm. and it, and his. He, you know, we both spoke enough of each language, and he said to me, "Scotty, what do we do? What do we do now? <laughs> you know, like we're going into the overtime." I said, "Claude, we're going to play Robinson and Savard to start the overtime." They said, well, "Well, what's next?" No, I said, "One of them has to stay on the ice." I said, "I want, I want to start them at the beginning of the overtime." I said, "After three or four shifts, I'm going to play them again." He said, why? I said, because, Claude, if we're going to go down, we're not going to go down with a guy we haven't used a lot. And you know who wasn't playing very much was a, a rookie, Rod Langway. Right. And right. I mean, he was, a, he was, was pretty good. So we were, I mean, he said, Scotty, you know, what are we going to do? I said, well, Claude, the problem is going to happen after 10 minutes. We're, we're going to be OK for 10 minutes. And that's mm -hmm. when we scored the goal. But no, I'm, I'm like you. Um, I, I'm always, I was always reluctant to take good players off the ice at important times. Mm -hmm.